Welcome back, this is Yamma Jack. We got KF Museum. No, we're playing Gunslinger. I want to go back to Gunslinger. I've had I've had my fun as Commando. Look at all that squeaking. I'm getting a new chair soon. By soon, I mean... Not really soon! And I want to get a new chair soon. So I did do a video on this once, but... Okay. Okay. We're going this way. That way. I did do a video on this, but uh, it didn't end up working out so great, so... I think I might have a picture for this one already. By the way, I kind of like this map. It's uh, It's got a nice little kiting spot up there where I was trying to get to. Okay, this is uh, not a great place to be. I'm getting out of here. We're leaving. We're leaving. I'm getting up here. Oh, that was a whiff. Get some payback there. Yeah, so we got this little spot right here, which is kind of like a one-lane defense kind of thing, you know? It's a uh, pretty nice little spot. Then when you when you need to ditch, you can kind of just ditch right there. You got the same thing on the other side, if you prefer being on that side. But uh, for some reason, it seems like they kind of like bug out there, so it's like even easier than a one-lane defense, because uh, you got this little natable location, you know? So I've been reading, uh, I read a lot of, like, manga and, uh, okay, jeez, guys, like, you're making it harder for me by making it easier for me. I read a lot of, uh, manga and, uh, like, Japanese light novels that the manga were, like, based on, and it's, it's always... Very, uh, it's it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I think I think I might have talked about it before, but it's uh, it's not something that I would recommend. Um, they're not good. They're just fun, you know. I I enjoy reading them, but I I wouldn't call them good literature, you know. Like it's it's not. If I have to choose a, a book to read or something, I'm not. I'm generally speaking, it's not going to be a, a manga or light novel or something like that, because typically most of them are... What's really prevalent is just an incredible amount of sexism. Just a, like an incredible amount of sexism is uh, is very prevalent in, uh, in these, because it'll be like... And it's just stuff that's so subtle, too. Like, not subtle, but... Um, that's so seemingly harmless, because you'll you'll be reading. I was reading uh, this one right now, and uh, it was it was about uh, these people who are like stuck in a death game and you know, kind of like a uh, sword art online kind of thing, and um, it was talking about how the the game had uh, there were no penalties to being dirty. But uh, you were still able to clean yourself if you wanted. And it was like, yeah, mostly only the girls did it, though. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Do you guys just not care about being... Like, what? And it's just, uh, it's just like, casual stuff like that. And, uh, like, yeah, most of the girls just focused on the, like, cooking skills. I'm like, huh? Like... They, they, they were playing the game, like, their motivations are, are clearly to play the game. Like, they're going to have fun playing the game and doing what, what, what it is, right? Like, like the, 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 the game started out as, perhaps, you, you know, you got, you got your, 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 your societal, um, like, gender roles and whatnot that, um, might, once it's turned into a death game, might lead towards the men taking on the more dangerous jobs, because that's just kind of the, the roles that, people fit into and it not necessarily what we should be doing but it, it kind of is what happens so once it turns into a death game then sure you could you could justify that kind of a uh, thing by saying oh well it's a death game men typically take on the more dangerous jobs blah 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 and i'm like well yeah but you don't have to put that in your story and also 
it didn't start out as a death game, so like they'll they'll be talking about how it was. Um, can I stand on this thing? Nope. Nope. Definitely cannot. Uh, it didn't start out as a death game, so we're talking about it when it's not a death game, and you could still log out. And they're like, yeah, well, most girls only cared about the the cooking and the cleaning and stuff. And I'm like, well, surely, surely, come on, <laughs> come on. Um, so it's just uh, it's just really, really annoying to to be reading about that. But then I'm still like, yeah, but do you see how? You know much havoc he's wreaking. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, and I read it anyway. But it's just hello. Oh hi. How's it going? It's still just like annoying to to read about it. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, so the guys just don't care about like not ba not bathing. It's a girl thing to bathe. <laughs> Pardon me. And they also tend to be like unbelievably like nationalistic in uh, in these like uh, other worlds stories uh, which is which is always good fun to read because it's always uh, like they'll have food and this this is a big one for some reason but they'll have the food in the uh, in the story and uh, then somebody will be like yeah but have you heard about soy sauce and it's a, it's a total trope Every time, any anybody in a in like a, an other world uh, story from Japan is uh, is talking about food, they're like, "Yeah, but we need soy sauce and rice." And then they get soy sauce and rice, which for some reason didn't exist at all in this world prior to this, because only the Japanese could ever ever possibly find rice. And then they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna eat this." And and for some reason, the people are like, "You're gonna eat rice." You're gonna put that in your mouth? I'm like these people are like desperate for food. You think they're not gonna try to eat the rice at some point? Like, come on! Um, so then they try and they're like, "Oh my god, this is the most delicious food I've ever had. It's so much better than this tasteless, bland garbage that we were eating previously." I'm like, surely, and uh, sure, sure, surely at some point in time, somebody somewhere would have been like, "Hey guys." I found this leaf and it kind of tastes good. What if we like ate it with other things? We can call it like time. <laughs> you know, like uh, it's just it's always it's always good fun to read it because they always want you know they want to add in the that the main character is, is so much smarter than these people and so much better than these people, right? Because I mean, that's the whole point of it all, right? Is to uh, to uh, to showcase these people who are so much better and, and just completely face rolling the world and, and just being completely overpowered like that's the point right is that they're 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 so strong in every respect that uh, the the residents of the world can't compare at all and so when when you're coming from Japan obviously that means that your culture also has to be better because that's that's one of the things that that needs to be better for you to be better in every respect, right? So it, uh, it makes sense that uh, the writers would, would put this kind of stuff in there, but it's always just so silly to read, because... It's like, you really think that they wouldn't have, like... tasted something and then been like, hey, I want to eat this with other things. You know, because it's always... I don't know, it's always, it's always good fun, because... Uh, You, you, you'd think, God, this chair is so squeaky. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do besides get a new chair, and chairs are expensive. You want to buy me a chair? You buy me a chair, and I'll, I'll use the chair. Okay? I buy me a chair, and I'll also use the chair. But I don't have money, so... I mean, I do have money, I just mostly use it on, like, sushi. <laughs> Except I'm not really joking I mean I kind of am I'm about to add sushi last night I've, I've had sushi a lot lately actually I really like sushi I'm just I'm here talking about how the uh, 
the Japanese people can't get over there. Or not the Japanese people, but the, the writers of, of stories which are supposed to be the Japanese person being so much better than the, the residents of the world. Talking about how much better their food is, and here I am. Yeah, but sushi's like really good, but it is really good. I really, really quite enjoy sushi. So I eat it um, reasonably often. It's uh, There's a couple of foods that I eat probably probably like weekly maybe uh, maybe a little bit less than weekly but like I eat it I eat it I eat them pretty pretty frequently um, so so one of them the most important the most important food there is actually in existence is poutine which I eat all the time and the uh, The, the next most important food is sushi. Those are two foods that I eat relatively frequently. Most of the time it's not like good stuff, right? Like I'll get like poutine from like Wendy's or something. And uh, it's not like the best poutine, but it's it's fine. It's like four bucks or something for uh, for a box of poutine. And uh, it's fine. Or I'll, uh, I'll be at the grocery store and I'll pick up some uh, some sushi for lunch or something. You know, it's not usually the best, uh, the best quality stuff there is, but it's uh, it's definitely a food that I eat. Right, you cannot get down there. I have I have done this exact thing before. I think with the abomination even. But it's uh, it's it's usually something that I have relatively frequently, and it's uh, I wish I had more time to talk about. It. I want to move up to like Hell on Earth just to have that extra time, but I end up garbaging so many videos that it's like frustrating. And this is why I need another series to, to talk about things in. Because I just I have so many so many things I want to ramble about and most of it's not important. But anyway I have poutine a lot and most people who don't live in Canada don't really have poutine as much as I do because they don't live in Canada and poutine's kind of a Canadian thing. And um, yeah I can't imagine going to McDonald's and being like oh yeah well I won't have the poutine because there is no poutine here. I'd, I'd go to McDonald's and be like yeah I don't really feel like poutine right now. You yeah. know. Because everywhere has poutine. It's harder to find a restaurant that doesn't have poutine. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'm going to try that one again. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. And subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.